What's up? I'm Drew with Paul Bell, and today we have a question from our friend Ivana. She wants to know if they teach CAD and Revit while in school, or do you have to pay for that training outside of school? Okay, so it depends, right? It really depends on what school you're at. Because at my school, they kind of taught me like Form Z, which is kind of a, a not very prevalent program, but I hear that today they're teaching Revit and Rhino, and it, it just depends on like what time and what school you're at and all that stuff. But do you have to like pay to do it outside? Um, maybe, you know, maybe, and that might help. And that might be a very efficient way of going about it, of learning a bulk, a bulk of what there is to know about whatever program it is that you want to use. Um, but another option is also to like get the program, get the student version, and just dive in with your own project and learn by trial and error. Try it, figure out what, what you don't know, Google it, read through a bunch of discussion forums and a bunch of YouTube videos and try to figure out how. And when you do that, it might, seem, it might seem really frustrating and real frantic too, right, if you're trying to get work done, but the beauty of doing this during the semester is that it's gonna hold the fire to your feet and it's gonna make you actually learn these things. Okay, if you're, if you're like after the semester, and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna model, like over the summer, I'm gonna model the building that I did last time. Like, that would help, but I think a lot of people don't actually follow through on that. And don't just wait until then. Like, jump in during the semester, sink or swim, and do it then. It's best if you find someone who knows it really well, who knows whatever program that is really well, so that you can go and ask them questions. But, like, when you're totally stuck. But other than that, I highly advise learning from the internet on your own. Getting back to one of my earlier points, even though everything's kind of scattered and it's all over the place, if you go out looking for something, like, like you know your problem, you're like, okay, how do I print the plan? Then Google it and then you're gonna find like, you're probably gonna read through two other articles or two other YouTube videos before you actually find the, the thing that fixes the problem you're having. In doing that, you're gonna learn two or three other things. So it's a real organic way of learning how the computer program works. Right through having one problem, you end up finding three solutions for other things you didn't even realize you had problems for yet. All right, and so then like you can do you can learn things that way. Um, I personally learned pretty much every computer program that I know on my own. They taught me Form Z at school, and they taught me Photoshop. And um, but I learned AutoCAD on my own. I had to learn. Premiere Pro, the video editing software that I used for a film class as well as this blog, I had to learn that one on my own. I had to learn uh, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe InDesign, and Archicad. Now with Archicad though, that was when I actually had one of my, one of my professors knew, had known Archicad back in the day. He'd used it like, like several years earlier. And that's where I realized that having someone to talk to who knows it, that will help you out a lot. So, so, um, so yeah, that will help a bunch. But I, I highly advise taking, taking into your own hands you learning programs. Because even if they have a class and they're teaching you, like there's a teacher who has like a list of assignments that's going to teach you things about whatever program, like that's great and it's going to get you a bulk of that. Or tutor's going to be the same thing, it's going to get you a bulk of what you need to know. But there's going to be a lot of stuff that they don't even know that's still out there in the ether that you can find out about, you might be able to stumble upon if you're Googling around trying to solve problems. So the point is, even if they do teach you in school, continue to learn things on your own outside. Take responsibility for learning whatever program that is and Google things, look them up online, look up YouTube videos, find, out, kind of find ways to like really control the computer. Okay, because this goes back to a point that I've made in other videos. The computer is a tool, all right? And you have to be able to use it to do interesting things. That's my main point. Make sure you take control of learning whatever computer programs you think would be applicable to you. And um, take responsibility for learning that, whether they teach you in school or not. Alright, so I hope this helps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you next time.